again second property of gamma integral that gamma of n 1 minus n of gamma is equal to pi upon sin n pi. So here our n is 5 by 6. So again this integral gives the value 1 by 18 this minus this. So pi upon sin n is 5 by 6 of pi. So sin 5 by 6 pi means we can break into sin 5 by 6 means pi by 2 plus pi by 3. Pi by 2 plus pi by 3 is 5 by 6. So sin of 90 plus theta is gives cos of theta. So pi by 2 plus pi by 3 means cos of pi by 3. And cos of pi by 3 cos 60 degree gives 1 by 2. Correct. So this gives sin 5 by 6 is 1 by 2. Pi upon 1 by 2. 2 comes here. Cancel 9. So our answer is pi by 9. Clear? So this types of question we can solve double integral with the help of gamma function also. Next, how to evaluate the limits for double integration. Very good topic that we know how to solve the uh, double integral. Next is if some curves are given and they tell you that find the limits and solve this integral then how we evaluate that limits. So for this we know the curve tracing then we go for very I will go for one very simple example x y upon under root of 1 minus y square dx dy over first quadrant over first quadrant of x square plus y square equal to 1. Everybody know x square plus y square equal to 1 is equation of circle. Very good. Now we have to know equation of circle. Now we plot if our this is circle first quadrant first quadrant means this part okay so this is point zero zero and this point radius of this is one so this point is one comma zero this point is zero comma one so when we want to find out the limit we make a strict Here we see x is constant going from 0 to 1. x is going 0 to 1. Maximum is 1. So our x limit is 0 to 1. If we want to find out in case of y, then y, y constant 0 to 1 and strict goes from here to here. This that, that, that we learn in change of order of integration. Now we go from this side. So x is equal to 0 to 1. Y. Y. Y is lower point. Means either y here, 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 here. Y is also 0. But higher limit or we can say upper limit. Upper limit change regarding to this curve. And this curve is y is equal to 1 minus x square of under root. So our upper limit of y is this x y upon 1 y square then x dx come outside and dy. So first we have to integrate this with respect to y apply the limit then whole function integrate with respect to x and apply the limit 0 to 1. So that is very simple example how to find the limit for given curve. Some more examples on this so you can easily understand. Then we go for change of order of integration. Question second if this given 
a minus x square sorry a minus x whole square dx dy over right half over right half of circle x square plus y square is equal to a square again this is circle x square plus y square is equal to a means radius is a comma 0 center is 0 0 right half means this part clear this we don't need this we don't need so we don't go for this limit now we go for this in this case you see that our x is always changing from 0 to a means x is not going more than a so our limit of x is 0 to a but what is the limit of y now you see let me make a strip this is strip from here to here this is moving this is lower part this is upper part so this is lower part so lower part means when we check y is equal, y square is equal to a square minus x square means y is equal to under root plus minus of under root a square minus of x square so y when we go from lower this term is y is equal to minus of under root of a square minus so lower limit is minus of under root a square minus x square upper limit is plus of under root a square minus x square a minus x whole square dx dy so first we integrate with respect to y apply the limits and solve for x okay one more example i will take you one example from ellipse some for parabola ellipse so many questions parabola and line ellipse and line and so many so now these are examples for circle some more example one is for uh, ellipse if double integral x y x square upon a square plus y square upon b square to the power n by 2 dx dy over the first quadrant first quadrant of ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon sorry y square upon b square equal to 1 so what is our ellipse this is our ellipse where center is this major axis going x axis going from a0 minor axis is b comma 0 so this is our first quadrant we need this only so for limit of x 0 to a for limit of b b is also 0 to b solve this curve for y so y is equal to b 1 minus x square upon a square under root. So our, our limit, upper limit for this b under root of 1 minus x square upon a square. This of integral, you can solve this integral and apply the limit then solve for this. So this is how to find out the limits for given double integral. You can make practice for another more questions also if you find any difficulty you just write me i will solve for you thank you